Hello, everybody. Welcome to another session of One Question a Day. In continuation of our discussion on development of tooth, we discuss an important question called the cell rests. Very rarely asked, but a very important question that has foundations in oral pathology also. Cell rests. Uh, the most common cell rest that we discuss in oral histology is of two types, cell rest of malaises and cell rest of serres. So this candidate has identified the cell rest of serres, malaise and serres correctly. The cell rest of malaise after radicular dentin formation, when the HERS, the epithelial hurt weak shoot, loses its continuity, exposing the radicular dentin to the newly formed, to the outlying dental sac, causing the, or stimulating the, uh, symptom formation. At this point of times, the islands of HERS may persist to adulthood, lying down in the periodontium, forming this cell rest of malaises. They are found in the periodontal ligament. The cell rest of malaises can be identified easily as a small clumps of epithelial cells within the periodontal ligament closely towards the radicular symptom. Each of cell cells has a darkly stained nucleus and a small, barely distinguishable peripheral rim of cytoplasm. The cells often have a high nuclear is to cytoplasm ratio. Studies demonstrate that a basal lamina is separating these epithelial cell rest from the adjacent uh, ectomesenchymal connective tissue. There are hemidesmosomes and tight junctions that are usually routinely identified between the epithelial cell rest of malaises. A large number of fine tonofilaments are found within the cytoplasms and they are bound together by the tonofil fibrils. However, they do not uh, they do not have rough endoplasmic reticulum indicating they are not very active. But when stimulated by interleukins or other favorable factors, they may give rise to cyst or serve as a starting point of tumors. So we have, this assumes a very important role in pathologies. Cell rest cell serres during the advanced bell stage, there is a dental lamina breakdown in the bell stage. The dental lamina, which is an extension from the oral mucosa, gets detached. And some of these cells may survive in the gingiva, in the gingiva, whereas malaises in the periodontal ligament serre in the gingiva nearer to the oral mucosa may survive to adulthood and persist as cell rest of serre. The, the could serve as a functions of dental stem cells, clinical signification. Some of these cells rest and large in size under favorable conditions can give rise to cystic tumors, which has to be removed. This is another candidate's paper, which he has talked about the cell rest of malaises from reduced enamel epithelium, the rest of serres from the gingiva. He has beautifully deployed how they contribute to the osteopontin contributions, its role, suspected role, not confirmed role. It's referred to papers where they say it acts or supports formation of symptom repair and maintenance of pedial function in case of damage, how they could contribute to certain elements or how the regenerated tissue lacks this epithelial cell rest, how bone could be synthesized using this epithelial cell rest of malaises, the reduced enamel epithelium, how they give rise to different pathologies, paradental cyst, calcifying odontogenesis, dentigerous cyst, eruption cyst. He has described the cell rest of serres where they are identified from the gingival tissues, breakdown of dental lamina during bell stage, give rise to odontogenic keratosis, suspected to be associated with lateral periodontal cyst, gival cyst, glandular odontogenesis. They are found to be round to be ovoid aggregates of epithelial cells that have a clear cytoplasm due because they have a glycogen rich. This kind of approach will help you to get more marks. 